In this article I want to discuss the best or different types of camera tripod specifically and I think I'm going to make an, another video just looking at gimbals and potentially other types of stabilization, extra accessories, tools for cameras So first of all, I'm not going to do, normally I do the videos where I'm comparing, you know, the best three cameras or lenses or things like that. But in this video, I'm going to go by what I consider the best functionality first. So the thing that I consider the best functionality first are the handheld tripods so you can use them kind of like a gimbal but it's still a tripod right but the good thing about it is it's small enough in size and gives you like a few feet of height so in some cases with the extensions to be able to give you flexibility and that's this tripod here as you can see when it's closed you can hold that with the camera in your hand like you are holding a camcorder <clears throat> and when it's open you can have it spread out and stabilized and you can still move around because you've got the hand adjustment screw there. So it would be easy with this to make a good shot standing still on the tripod as it's extended. And also whilst on the move. And I think that's important for, for different types of photography. Say, for example, you're doing some type of wildlife photography and you catch, let's say, you know, something in action. I don't know, something like a, uh, a bird in flight or something like that. And you want to follow it quickly and you just want to, you know, close up the tripod and make it handheld and just, you know capture the shot as best you can right to make it a great shot but so that's what it would be good for you know that flexibility that ease of use so you got the best of both kind of I wouldn't say this is and I'm sure there is probably a model that gives you both a tripod style feature as well as gimbal features but I don't think this is it looking at the build style I think this is just a handheld tripod that is quite well built so that's that that's the Victive camera tripod 63 to 73 inches and it fits Canon and Nikon a few other cameras so quite a lot of these tripods are fairly similar. Here's another handheld one as well, actually. It's because we're on handhelds at the moment. So... Where did it go? I just loaded it by accident there. There's the one. So this is the Roly Compact. tower one and as you can see you know that's small enough to be a handheld but it also goes quite tall so that's always a flexible feature similar to the one that we were talking about before again more 72 inch tripods
Your carbon peak design tripod as well. This one's interesting because it's just called three legged thing tripod. Right. And it seems just to have like a flat base and nothing else. So this is quite interesting as a tripod. I'm looking for, that's obviously the GoPro version, we're not looking for GoPro versions. I think this three legged thing, this looks good actually, two in one, and a minion. Now uh, you see, here we go. Let me just close this. So this tripod actually looks Quite unique. In terms of build quality and flexibility. And that side did not want to work at all, so that was the Manfrotto B3 2-in-1 aluminium tripod, but I don't recommend going on that site because there's something up with it. Last one we've got is the Libek THZ camera tripod. And again, got some sturdy features, got quite a bit of height to it, quite versatile. And it's the one of the mid-price range tripods in our selection. So I've gone with the three leg thing, I've gone with the Victisi, and that was the cheapest one, three leg things is obviously the 500, 600 pounds range, the Libek THZ camera tripod is like the 350 pound range, dollars is similar now anyway, so if you're looking in dollars, it should be around about the same price. So yeah, that was the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, share, subscribe.